Hi, I'm Tabitha Caldwell with the Hub Team, also a parent of a first grader. As ParentView is new this year, we have worked really closely with the schools to improve usability and functionality. To be as transparent as possible, we would like everyone to be aware of the following display issues recently discovered. These issues only affect ParentView mobile application. If you access through the web, you will not be impacted. So let me help you find your student grades. Simply click your gradebook menu. Now the issue is how do you know where your student's classes fall? You have a lot of options. Let's work through each one. MS will always be your middle school courses. HS will display high school courses taken. Your student courses will be under the appropriate term. First, we're going to look at MSSEM displayed here. This is your middle school semester marking period one courses. Simply clicking in the appropriate marking period will be important because we are in marking period one. So you're going to scroll down if you have any middle school semester marking period one in your option. Note for this student in order there are no classes he takes that are middle school semester long classes. Next, my option is high school year marking period one. You can ignore all of the other marking periods as discussed as we are in the first marking period. Simply clicking on the high school marking period one will display my students taking algebra one. And I can now access his gradebook for algebra. Simply click Algebra. Now his overall score and assignments will be displayed. To view other classes he's taken, simply go back to your gradebook menu item. And our next option is to view the middle school quarter classes. You'll notice that this is identified by MSQTR marking period one, located here. My student has independent study listed here for his quarter class. Next, you have your middle school YR course. These are your middle school year-long classes. To simply view these, I'm going to click the marking period one. Note majority of your student classes for middle school will be housed here. These are classes such as social studies, science, also I have health and chorus and language arts listed. You can quickly see your student's overall grade here. And again, to view further details such as their assignments, simply click on the class you'd like to view. Let's return back to our gradebook. Returning back to our gradebook, I have identified and seen all of my students' classes. The key takeaways are your MS semester-long classes are located under the MS SEM code. Your middle school quarter classes will be displayed under MSQTR. And if you have an eighth grader, you also may see GR8YR term codes here. These are simply for your year long eighth grade courses. So we just finished our student in middle school viewing their courses. For high school students, apply the same concepts. Work through finding your courses by narrowing down to marking period one in the appropriate term, such as semester or year. In closing, thank you so much for your patience as we work through updating the mobile app for you. And a reminder, this issue is okay if you use the website itself.